my college career, I'd tell people it wasn't great, but it was good. I mean, it, I mean, it was a good, solid college career. Franco Harris wasn't the most celebrated running back at Penn State. That was Lydell Mitchell, number 23. Lydell always had dreams about being a pro, and that was his goal. And myself, pro football was not part of my plan. I never talked about it. And then my senior year, people were saying, well, Franco, you'll probably get drafted. And I was pretty surprised about that. He was more surprised when the Steelers made him the 13th pick of the draft, the first running back taken, ahead of Lydell Mitchell. But Franco envied Mitchell, who was drafted by the mighty Baltimore Colts in the second round. I was just crying, so, oh, man, I'm with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're going to Baltimore Colts. They make the playoff every year. And you'll be doing well. You'll be making extra money going into the playoffs. And, and look where I'm going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I do remember going to my first practice out there and watching the running backs. And I was saying to myself, oh, my God. I can never make this team. Franco has an odd way about him. You know, he'd run up to the, run up to the offensive line. He'd stop. And he'd peek around, and then, you know, defensively, you know, we'd look at him and say, what is he going to do? Then we're going back to the huddle, he takes off, runs to the goal line. I said, gee, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of Franco. I, I'd been a fullback in college, so I knew a little bit about, you know, running the football, and, and I kind of was uh, a little bit disappointed in training camp. He just, he, he seemed uh, out of sorts. He wasn't, maybe he was making mistakes and things that, that will happen to rookies. I don't know if I was the only one scratching my head wondering, say, what, who is this guy? The rookie won over his teammates in the last game of the preseason. We played a game, I think it was in uh, Atlanta, Fulton County, and Franco runs up to the line, looks like he stops and maybe scratches his head, what am I gonna do now? And all of a sudden he goes, takes off. And I said, gee, we got one, <laughs> we got one. You can tell it when you see it, you can even see it in your body languages. By the language of a, of a player tells you how intense, how involved they are in the contest. And Franco was involved in the contest. And that means that you're in it. And you're going to do whatever you have to do to get it done. 